Make sure you have a really nice eggplant. This is a really pretty eggplant. Really good quality. I washed it, and now I'm going to just slice it into, I don't know what you call the medallion. Circle. <laughs> That's the end of the eggplant. And I'm going to cut them about, that looks to me like a quarter inch thick, maybe a little bit less. You don't want them too thick or too thin. They'll either take too long to cook or they'll cook like french fries or potato chips. You don't want that. Try to be as uniform as possible when you're making your slices. And you're going to keep in mind that you're going to stack these, you know, a couple high. So that's, that's going to be enough right there. You can even cut them a little tiny bit thinner if you want to. Just don't cut them so paper thin that they do become like a potato chip in the oven. And you should preheat your oven to 350. I would wait until everything's breaded and that it's been sitting for a while. And you'll see what I'm talking about by sitting for a while, the color change in, in the breading. And the breading that I do is the same that I use for my fried chicken or chicken fried steak. The only addition to it is Parmesan cheese. I have a cup of flour, a cup of Italian breadcrumbs that are seasoned, but I went ahead and added some more seasoning to the um, breadcrumbs. We're getting towards the end here, so. These are small. I'm not going to use that part. Come back to the cola. And just cut this end off. Okay. And now that I have that part done, I'm going to go ahead and um, get my breading mixed up. All of my spices, my Parmesan cheese, my flour, breadcrumbs. You want to make sure that it's nice and mixed, mixed evenly and well. You might want to use a deeper dish for this. I tend to grab the first thing and that's what happens. <laughs> it's too small. That looks good. And you know, a lot of cooks, I think good cooks taste their food. If you're that confident enough that your <laughs> your food is okay, then you're full of yourself and you're not a very good cook. Most cooks are going to taste their things. Like, I'm going to taste this, this flour because I want to make sure it has enough salt. If it doesn't have enough salt, your bread is not going to have enough flavor. I'm going to sprinkle in just a tiny bit more salt. And some people will actually salt their um, um, eggplant and let the bitterness come out of it. The water, tends, the liquid in it tends to have a bitter taste. I, I don't care. So I don't do it. It's just an extra step you have to avoid. So you know, do these fast. You can see that the air is hitting these, turning them, changing the color on them. So I'm going to put these in an egg wash. <laughs> I accidentally sprinkled pepper into No harm, no foul, all good. And then I dip them into the breadcrumbs. And I'm going to double dip these because um, I really like to make sure that it's coated really well. I don't want any spots that aren't coated. and I'm going to place it on my baking pan that has been pre-greased. You do that to all of your eggplant slices and then you're going to let them sit just until they, they reach a sticky stage with the crust or the breading. I'm letting these sit and you can see them um, starting to turn color a little bit. It's not quite as obvious yet. So we'll let them sit a little bit more. The moisture will come out of the eggplant and um, create the crust. So that's what we want. And the reason for 
putting olive oil on the bottom of the pan is so that they don't stick because they will have a tendency to stick. I'm also going to brush the tops of them with some olive oil and when I turn them during the baking, I'll brush the other side as well. Kind of just helps in the browning process. And olive oil is a, is a good fat for you to eat. So it's not going to be swimming in oil or, you know, deep fried in oil. It's going to have really good taste. And it's really good for people who are watching their calories or trying to eat a little bit better, a little bit healthier. And I actually had to use another little pan because I had a really large eggplant. And so it looks like I'm going to get possibly one, two, three, four, five, about six um, servings here. So that's quite a bit. Unless you stack them really high, <laughs> then you're going to have a lot less, of course. But I think doubling it is really good, good thickness. I brushed the tops of my um, eggplant medallions, and now I'm going to um, do these for you. I just have a little bit of olive oil in a in a little ramekin here, and just brushing the top so that it gets a little bit of a coating on it. This is just going to help in the cooking process in the oven. It needs some of this oil, this fat, to brown nicely. And you can do the other side after you flip them. It's not a lot of oil. It's probably less than two tablespoons that I've used on these. So, like I said earlier, you're not swimming in fat here with these. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put them in the oven at 350. These have been in the oven for about 20 minutes or so, and I'm going to turn them over. <coughs> and you can see that the oil oh, <laughs> that's being on the pan has, has helped coat it. it. So you're not going to need too much oil on this side. You don't want it dry like that. That's why you're putting all the oil on it. So here I have my little tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm just putting it where it looks like it needs it, where it's dry. And it's okay if these have a, a crunchy um, exterior. That's what you want. You want to have a nice built crust on these. And then um, the sauce that you're going to put them in or put on them is going to help soften them. And they should be pretty reasonably soft. You can see how tender that is inside already. So, it should be really, really good. These look awesome. I already did the other tray. I'm going to put these back in the oven for about 10 minutes or so, just to warm them through some more, get this crust built up on this side and brown. And meanwhile, I'm going to boil some pasta and heat up my marinara and make a green salad, and dinner will be ready. So this is about a 45 minute an hour with the prep time to cook and, you know, have everything on the table. So it's not too bad for a Sunday dinner. I'm going to cheat also because I'm going to use Classico pasta sauce. <laughs> Marinara is really good on this. Um, but I, I just don't have time, or I really actually don't know how to make a, a really good marinara. I'm sure I could learn really quick, but it's an easy day for me. It's a Sunday. And I'm using individually wrapped cheeses because this is a serving size. So for somebody who's trying to be health conscious, this is going to be the amount of cheese you should have on your Parmesan. If you have more than that, then you're not staying in your diet. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. It's always a good tip to use an individual size. That way you know exactly what you're getting. They're all out of the oven. They're cooked. And I'm going to go ahead and just ladle some of the sauce onto the top of these. And, you know, you can get it on the bottom too. Or you can dump them in the in the sauce itself, however you want to do it. They're going to stay on this pan 
because they're going to need to heat through so the cheese will melt when she put the mozzarella cheese on. This is really actually super easy to make. A lot of people are intimidated because it's um, a meal you usually get in a restaurant. Saturday. I'm going to just do two layers. They're pretty good size. And if my kids want seconds, which I'm sure some of them will. Right, Kathy? So I cut up my cheese, grated it, and I'm, uh, those are the three string cheeses that I have. So this is going to keep me aware of how much cheese I'm using per person. So that's actually a good thing. Okay. And Here's your spatula. We'll go ahead and just stack them now. I'm small, so I'll put that one there. And you're going to finish it off with some cheese on top. Usually in the past we would put tons of cheese. <laughs> but you know what? I'm trying to eat a little bit better, so... This is going to be good. And I'm going to finish the bottom. Can. Go ahead and put sauce on these, and then I'm going to go ahead and put these on that other pan, and that way I can eliminate one pan from being washed later. It has really good crust on it. Okay, so now I'm going to put them on the same pan. And what I did was put a little bit of sauce on the bottom of the pan here. Just kind of makes it nice. If you're going to present these at the table, then put them in a nice glass serving dish and, and put uh, sauce on the bottom. I saved some sauce because we're going to have pasta on the side. So these are going to go back in the oven just for the cheese to melt. Five minutes, maybe. Here's my dinner. My Sunday dinner. Eggplant parmesan, a little bit of pasta, marinara, green salad. We've got some garlic butter and bread if anybody wants any. I don't know why you guys use those little plates. It's like, my kids are weird. They're using my grandson's plates. So here we go. We're going to enjoy our dinner.